Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? California Flipper here, bringing you guys another video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing two tubs of video games with you guys, two 12-gallon tubs of video games worth over $25,000. And yeah, so some of the stuff, I had like a separate bin too of some pretty rare stuff that I've been listing, but I still have two tubs full of like the really good stuff that I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, some of the stuff that I was gonna share with you guys, I already listed and some of it already sold. Um, you guys can see, here's my inventory as of right now. It's kind of hard to, let me flip the camera around real quick. So right there we have, you know, some box nest stuff. And behind, you know, this stack, there's more nests, like boxed. Um, a couple Game Game Boy games, a lot of those sold, they were boxed. Uh, we got some like, uh, like some Super Nintendo box games, some more Super Nintendo. Turbo Graphics, a lot of those sold. Some PS1 more PS1 here. And there's also some like long box games back there. You can kind of see um, a lot of those already sold. Like this, this whole stack was like stacked like really high. So stuff has been selling very well. And um, yeah, here's like my other stuff I have. Here's a, one of those really rare games. Um, it's like a $150 game, $200. And this is listed. So I was gonna show this with, with you guys. Um, it's part of the like the rare games and then also shining force it's like 200 dollars plus it is complete so a lot of stuff has sold though guys i might go through some stuff with you guys on the laptop to kind of show you guys what sold but let's get into the real rare heavy stuff so i just wanted to share you know what i have left over so you guys saw what was listed for the most part and we still have all this good stuff. I'm gonna share this with you guys before we get into the tubs of rare stuff. And yeah, so the guy that I bought all this stuff from, I paid $11,000 for everything. And it was split up into buys. Like I'll spend 2,000 one day, 3,000, 4,000. It all equaled out to $11,000. He still has some more stuff, um, but not like too much more. And he has this one game that I want in particular for the Saturn. It's worth like almost $2,000. And he has a sealed Metroid. But I'll keep you guys posted if I get any any more stuff from him. But yeah, I just wanted to share this stuff with you guys. We got Donkey Kong Country. This is just the box, but I actually have this game sealed that I'll share with you guys. Um, all these Genesis games, it's all stacked. You know, two, you know, two rows, one row back. And then... Uh, we got all these NES games, again, stacked in the back as well. And then this, all this whole thing is stacked. So then this is all Super Nintendo, all stacked all the way to the back as well. And also we have some Sega Saturn and a pretty good amount of Sega CD. So that stuff goes very quickly. I haven't listed none of this stuff yet. And um, yeah. So here is the super rare stuff that I'm gonna share with you guys right now. So let's get right to it. Sorry if you guys hear like the fan in the back, but it's really hot in here, so um, don't mind that. So anyways, here is the rare stuff. So this is tub number one and no particular order. I'm just gonna go off the top and kind of just show you guys what's in here. So first things first, we got Sky Gunner for the PS2. And this is complete. It's about a hundred to one hundred and ten dollar game. And some of these prices, guys, I might not know. They might not be one hundred percent accurate. All I know is all these games in here are worth well over a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. There's some three hundred dollar games in here, um, some five hundred dollar games in here. So there's some good stuff, guys. All this stuff is separated for a reason. So, yeah, we got Contra Hard Corps complete in box for Genesis. And don't forget to like the video, guys. Comment, subscribe if you're new. If you want to see more videos like this. I'd really appreciate that. And we got Shadow Shadow Run for the Genesis Complete. And for the most part, all these games are complete. We got Vapor Trail. We got Sunset Riders Complete in box for the Genesis. We got Hellfire for Genesis Complete. A little bit of uh, waviness there, but still really cool. And then this is probably the rarest game that I have. And this game's worth like $1,200 to $1,500 complete. And this one's 100% authentic. I opened the cartridge up. All these games are authentic. Um, so that's awesome. Yeah, so this game right here 
is worth over a thousand. I also sold Earthbound. I didn't have the strategy guide with it or strategy book, um, but that sold already. I wish I would have had that to uh, still show you guys, but yeah, I did have Earthbound, which is crazy. Uh, super rare game for the Super Nintendo. But anyways, let's keep going. We got War Song complete in box. We got Alf for the Master System. We got Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. We got Night Trap. I think it was for Sega, yeah, Sega CD. And then we got Final Fight for Sega CD. There's a Saturn game. We got Mr. Bones for the Saturn. Really cool game. I think this game's like a like 150 to 250, something like that. We got what, what's this one called? I'm not really sure what that's called, but I know it's pretty rare. We got Batman for the Genesis. We got it's kind of hard to see. Game Ground. I'm trying to read. I got bad eyesight, guys, and I'm trying to read it through the camera. So. Yeah, we got Haunting starring Polter, Polter Guy. I like seeing these old like horror um, Sega Genesis games. Pretty cool. The artwork on this stuff is amazing. We got Mega Mega Turrican. Turic, I'm gonna try and go a little faster. So we got Turtles, the Hyper Shine Heist. This game's pretty rare as well. We got Sparkster. I know that game's pretty rare. We got the Punisher for the Genesis. This game's like three to four hundred dollars, and then it is complete. Then we got Gunstar Heroes for the Genesis. Super cool stuff. Um, some of this stuff I just didn't know was worth this much money it's crazy we got wardner we got ghostbusters complete we got valis complete we got streets of rage 3 valis splatterhouse 3 i actually popped that in the genesis and played it it's pretty fun and then we got splatterhouse 2 so splatterhouse 3 and 2 that's awesome right there some really good stuff then for Sega CD, we got Terminator. This is just the game. It's still worth some really good money. Uh, Shining Force. We got Lunar. Some really good stuff, guys. Then we got Lunar... Uh, the Silver Star. This one does have a busted up case, but still really awesome. And then we got Pop Popful Mel for the Sega CD. Then we got Dungeon Explorer. Not really sure what this game's called. Is it? And then we got Earthworm Jim, Sonic CD, Mega Man 8. This is like an over $600 game right here. So that's pretty crazy. We got, what is this one? Dragon Force. That's pretty rare. Resident Evil for Saturn. Shinobi, Panzer Dragoon, it's a lot of stuff, huh? We got Contra, and the cool thing about this one was the 3D glasses were in there. So that's freaking cool, that's really cool. We got Marvel Super Heroes. Earthworm Gym 2. 
Sega Ages. Street Fighter Collection for the Saturn. Check that out. Mm. Such good stuff. And then we got Soul Star. Some more Genesis games. We got Scooby Doo. We got Rock and Roll Racing. Cool thing is, all these games are complete. We got Shining Force 2. And then some more Saturn games. We got. Lunacy by Atlas for the Saturn. This game I know is worth like probably like I think like three hundred, three hundred fifty dollar game right there. We got Clockwork Night Two. It's about one hundred fifty bucks. Panzer Dragoon, and then Ultimate Mortal Kombat. So that's the first tub, guys. We still have this tub. This has PS One in it, some Game Boy, some really good stuff in here. So. Let me bust this tub out real quick. All right, guys, so I'm going to move into the second tub of video games. The first tub, there was about 56 games. This second tub is probably, there might be a little more, um, maybe around 60 or so. So don't forget to smash the like button for me, guys. Comment, subscribe if you're new, and let's get right to it. We got Japanese Dracula X, Japanese Sega Saturn game, pretty rare. We got Shadow Tower. We got Darkstalkers 3. We got Thunder Force. We got School Monkeys. Really happy to have rare PS1 games. Um, that's pretty awesome. And also guys, I sold a lot of like pretty rare GameCube games. Like I had Path of Radiance, that's like a $300 game that sold. Um, Fantasy Star 1 and 2 online, I believe. I think that sold for like 200. You know, Paper Mario, some Mario Party games I had. Um, those all sold, though. But uh, that was part of these tubs right here. There's a separate tub, but I listed because that stuff sells so quick, too. But anyways, you know, so this wasn't even all the stuff. There was a lot more that I already sold. So if you guys want me to do, like, a what sold video, let me know down in the comments. We got, what's this game called? Torneco, The Last Hope. Pretty cool looking game. We got Brig Brigadine, Brigadine. I have no idea, but it is by Atlas. Black label complete. And then we got Castlevania Chronicles. A couple more PS1 games. Oh, we also have some land, lo, uh, long box games too. Breath of the Breath of Fire. And we got Tales of Destiny. And then we got a brand new sealed Sympathy, Sympathy of the Night Castlevania. Um, it is, it's not like the best like condition, but it is sealed. It's greatest hits, so it's not worth as much as like the black label one, but still brand new sealed Castlevania, pretty cool. A couple long box games and then we'll move. There's a lot of Genesis and um, a couple Turbo Graphics as well, so stay tuned. We got PlayStation Long Box in the Hunt. We got Kingsfield. And then Dark Stalkers. Pretty cool. Uh, I like these big box games. They're pretty, pretty awesome. Um, it's 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 cool because like I don't come across stuff like this like often like at all. Um, so to come across this much stuff is pretty overwhelming but amazing at the same time i just having a really good time just looking through the stuff for the second time so it's pretty cool all right we got some game boy games here we got castlevania for game boy advance we got double dragon we got zelda for the original game boy complete in box we got Zelda Ages, complete in box. And we got Zelda Oracle of Seasons, complete in box. Got Splatterhouse for the graphic Turbo Graphics. We got Parasol Stars for the Turbo Graphics, about a hundred and forty, hundred and sixty dollar game.
Got Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. We got Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Everything's in there. Then we got Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. And those are really awesome. Those are probably about 200 bucks each. Some really rare um, games that are just the cartridges. Let me show these with for you guys, or to you guys. Sh uh, Sword Master for the NES. Then we got, what's this one? Mighty Final Fight. By Capcom. I think that's like $300 plus game. Just the game. We got Snow Brothers by Capcom for the NES. It's probably about another $300 game. We got the Cryon Conquest. We have Mega Man 5 with the manual. So that's pretty cool. We got Tetris, Tengen Tetris. I was surprised how much that's worth. I think that's about $150, $120 or something like that. Which is pretty crazy. We got the Jetsons. It's probably about $250, $300. We got Metal Storm. Another $250, $300 game. We got Casino Kid 2. A little beat up, but actually really not really. It just has that sticker on the side right there. But it's about a $100, $110 game, $120 or something like that. If I'm wrong with the prices, guys, don't mind <laughs> it's been a while since i've looked these up but the ultimate we got ultimate mortal Kombat for the super nintendo we got wild guns i know if this game was complete it would be like a thousand dollars but it's in really rough condition the box it doesn't have the manual and the, the game is really rough it's really dirty and the label is all messed up but even if i can get i don't even know how much i can get for it but still cool wild guns then we, here's that brand new sealed Donkey Kong Country. Um, it is pretty beat up. It's a little dented in. But it is brand new. It is Nintendo Selects, right? Yeah, Nintendo Selects, but still, it's brand new. It's still cool. It has the little hang tab on there still. So, pretty cool. We got Metal Gear for the NES. All right, guys. <laughs> If you guys made it this far, please, at the end of the video, comment. Um, if you make it all the way to the end, comment your favorite game, your favorite pickup. So I know you guys made it all the way to the end. So I, so I know to keep making videos like this because if you guys don't watch long videos like this, then there's no need for me to, you know, pretty much waste my time if you guys aren't going to watch the video. So let me know if you guys made it all the way this far so far. And let me know your favorite uh, pickup at the end. We got the Flintstones for the NES. We got brand new sealed Tetris. Can't really see, but it's brand new. And then we got a brand new sealed Link, The Adventures of Link, gold cartridge. Brand new. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, but you can see, kind of see it's sealed and it has the little hang tab. Don't know how much those are worth. Should I get them graded? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. We got the Lone Ranger for the NES. We got G.I. Joe, a real American hero. All complete. Ninja, Ga Ninja Gaiden 3. Almost done, guys. Almost done. We got Fantasy Star. We got Beyond Oasis. Friday the 13th. We got Ice Climber. And also not in this tub, I have it listed already. I have a boxed, I have a boxed original um, Mario, Super Mario Bros, the original one, boxed for the NES. And that one's listed for like 260, I think. 
And then we have Metal, Metal Warriors. And then we have Truxton for the Genesis. We have RC Pro-Am 2. We got, what is this one? Scoon, Spoon or something? <laughs> for the Ness. And then we have Shining Force. Then we have Kickmaster. Sorry if you hear little kids crying in the background, guys. I am almost done. <laughs> we got Castlevania Bloodlines for the Genesis. We got Ghost Lion. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Ghost Lion for the NES. And then we have Kid Clown. This game does not have the manual, unfortunately, but just the cartridge, I believe, is like 500 bucks, and this one obviously has the box, so probably over $500 game right here. So Kid Clown for the win. And now the rest of these games are all Super Nintendo. We've got some good stuff here, guys. we got King, uh, I was going to say King Kong, <laughs> Donkey Kong Country 2. we got Super Punch-Out, Donkey Kong Country 3. Sunset Riders, no manual, but really good condition box in game. We got Castlevania, Super Castlevania. We have Super Goals in Ghost. We got Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Chrono Trigger, complete in box. It's about seven to eight hundred dollar game. Box is a little beat up, but even if I get seven hundred bucks, seven fifty, I'll be happy. We got Soul Blazer, really messed up box, but still really good game, really rare game. All right, guys, the last four games, guys. We got Super Bunk, Mega Man X Two, Rock. Uh, Pocky and Rocky 2 and Pocky and Rocky the original so yeah guys that's all the really rare video games that I have to share with you guys um, if you guys want to see any other kind of videos please let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see some solds of some stuff that's been selling from this collection that I bought let me know down in the comments guys if you guys made it all the way to the end I really appreciate it I know this video is pretty long but you guys wanted this video, so I hope you guys actually watched it all the way to the end. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Peace.